the Supercross series heads east, the dirt gets soft, which means the ruts get deep. One of the worst places the riders have to navigate ruts are on the face of an 80-foot jump. Check this out. This is every rider's worst nightmare. We're standing here on the exit of a bowl corner on the Supercross track. As these ruts get deeper, the element of risk gets higher. So the riders are going to start to look for something that's a little less rutted. And that's why you see ruts across the whole face. It's very important that the bike gets lined up in the ruts, because if they cross rut, which means front wheel in one rut, rear wheel in another rut, and then they go to hit the throttle and take off, the bike just shoots sideways, and they usually go over the bars. Big problems. The reason why the ruts are so deep on this obstacle is because the guys come out of this corner, the dirt's really soft, so they check up with the throttle a little bit and then on throttle right when they take off, which digs the lip out and it makes it deep throughout the night. This is the perfect area where you do a seat bounce, so they sit down into the seat. The rear end of the motorcycle squishes down, that's when the pegs drag. If the peg catches too hard, it's gonna do a big endo. You'll see a lot of riders, when they jump this, they'll jump front end high. And that's because they're coming in a little bit slower and they go, oh, 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 they gotta get lined up, make sure they're in line, and then they go and they gotta throttle all the way off the lip, which brings the front end high. What do they do to drop the front end? They pull the clutch in a little, grab the rear brake, stops the inertia of the bike, brings the front end down, then they land and go. On the far right over here next to the hay bales, you can see what we would call is like a low line or like a cheater line. If the rider takes that line and he's not leaned over, his foot pegs are gonna catch the Monster Energy hay bale. But if you can nail a line like that, you could probably gain a quarter second. So that's the advantage of taking a line like that and taking the risk. 